Hello, my name is Benson Enati, and I'm a professional sim racing driver for Race Clutch in partnership with Alpine. I got this opportunity to try out this motion simulator, and now I would like to share my experiences with you. It's a really different experience to Orouge. The motion definitely adds uh, another layer of interaction with the sim. A bit too deep here. Need to adjust the motion a bit. Can the platform go a bit more forwards under braking? So here we go for a lap around Spa with the motion sim. Uh, for the start finish straight, you want to have a really good exit. You can really feel the curves here. Then you go down the main straight. You should aim for braking around the 100 marker, really heavy braking zone. You can feel the car lean forwards under braking. On the exit, you touch the curves. You can feel the car vibrating here. Next corner is the most iconic corner, uh, Orouge. You can feel the car nose going upwards. It's a really strange experience for the first time, but uh, it, but uh, after a while it feels uh, really good. Coming on into the comp, really heartbreaking as well. All the vein down to third gear, try to hit the apex curves and take as much curves as you can on the exit. Really heavy braking zone. You want to use the curves here as well, both apex, exit and entry. The car really vibrates there. Pull on really fast corner. You can feel the car rolling. Uh. Out of step low one and two, we will have a long straight, so you really want to have a good exit out of them. You take as much curves as you can, staying within the track limits. Next corner is Blanchimo. You really carry a lot of speed through there, so you really feel the forces as you go through it. Here it comes. Bust stop, really heavy braking zone. Try to take aim for the curves. 
and this was a left around spa. Heartbreaking zone again, trying to break a bit later compared to last look. He overshot the corner a bit. Uh, you could feel the track surface isn't as smooth on the runoff zone. <laughs> In iRacing, the tracks are laser scanned, so you can really feel every bump especially with the motion. Really tricky corner, trying to not look up the right exo. motion feels quite instant. I would say it has around about the same latency as the force feedback, so it's uh, unnoticeable basically. I get the vibration as I hit the curve, as I would expect. You should get a better left time here. Obviously it takes a bit getting used to the motion, but after you get used to it, I think it uh, adds another layer of experience. You can feel the off shifts as the car kicks when you go up a gear. It's really cool. Bit of a cut there. When you overdrive the car a bit, uh, you can feel as it slides, so you are not only relying on your force feedback, but uh, you can rely on your other instincts. So we are back at Spa, but this time with VR, and uh, we turned on the Joe for this one. So the, we added an extra axis of movement. Let's see how it goes with this. Yeah, off-roading definitely feels really realistic. This time we amplify the movements a bit, so you can see what this platform is actually capable of. So we are currently on an outlap and uh, soon we will start our first flying lap. Thank you. 
what I noticed is the platform actually can produce a surprisingly big amount of motion. So going uphill at Orouge, you really feel how steep it is and uh, you have a lot more immersion with VR as well. So you really have a sense of scale. of feeling it's really close how it feels actually turning with the car I would say it's uh, the feeling is better in slow sweep corners because it obviously doesn't have to simulate those really high cheese you experience in real life but uh, in high corner in higher speed corners it feels different than the low speed corners, but uh, I, I would say it's uh, a bit more off. Although how the curves are shaking the car and the unevenness in the road surface, it's, uh, it, it really gives an extra layer of uh, feeling. So this inside curve is quite bumpy. So as this outside one, if you go through like this, and uh, you can really it. These orange curves are like not that tall, so you so they are a bit more subtle, but uh, that's how it should be. Here we are coming up to the top. This uh, corner has pretty high curves, so it uh, I didn't expect it to be a bit more rumble, and it really does. Uh, I would say you could uh, differentiate the curves going over by the ceiling. This is my favorite part of the track, uh, with this motion configuration I think. That part feels really good. First of all, it was a really immersive experience. I had the chance to try out uh, different motion simulators and for this price range, this was really good. I had the chance to try it out with VR and with screens. This uh, motion platform is different in a sense that it can rotate around itself. Uh, in terms of sim racing, uh, that's a questionable topic, but uh, in my opinion, with uh, screen use, it uh, doesn't really add to the experience and I would honestly turn it off. But in VR, I actually would use it. Uh, it was surprisingly immersive as uh, I was rotating around by driving. And when I ended my driving, I would have said I was facing like where I just started, but I took off the headset and I was uh, facing to a completely different direction. Obviously, by racing, uh, every millisecond matters, so the responsiveness is a really important topic in this kind of products. I didn't really notice any kind of delay in the motion. Uh, I would say the delay is uh, similar to the wheel's force feedback 
so it's quite good. And uh, if you are just racing, you wouldn't really notice it. Uh, also, a really good point of uh, this uh, platform is the ability to simulate the unevenness of the road and the curves. I think it gave uh, actually surprisingly detailed feeling about how the curves and the road surface are. I could feel the bumps on the curves. I could feel the unevenness of the road under a braking zone or just uh, under acceleration or just in general. I would recommend this product to the people out there who are liking uh, racing or flying and want some extra kind of feedback. And uh, honestly, I, I would uh, recommend this product to any kind of casual gamer as it uh, gives uh, a big leap in responsiveness.